I know that many of us are experiencing uh, some hesitancy about taking this vaccine. And I know that this is um, entirely natural. And so I will share with you um, how I spent my time thinking about my decision to take this vaccine and how I talk about it with my primary care patients. So first I sought uh, my family's advice, starting with my mother. My mother, who is in her 70s, is a retired educator. She's from Memphis, Tennessee. As an African-American woman raised in the South, she has had experience with false promises in medicine. And I can understand why she and my extended family members are cautious about this vaccine. And there's a long shadow of medical experimentation, exploitation, and neglect that has built a legacy of injustice and mistreatment. And so my mother says that, yes, she's eager to receive the vaccine and be you know, part of the solution, but at the same time, she doesn't want to necessarily be first in line. And so she and I uh, shared our gratitude for the hundreds of thousands of vaccine trial volunteers who have gone before us and for the many more vaccine recipients from across a very diverse uh, population in the UK and now this week in the United States. Because now we know that severe side effects are extremely rare and that this vaccine is very safe. So then I spoke with my sister, who is a nurse. She was previously a medical assistant working in the Bay Area, and, and she also is a nurse practitioner. And she's, she's confident in the science and is eager to receive the vaccine. Um, she says that she um, is, is deciding to receive it because she wants to protect her family. And similarly, I spoke with uh, my husband, who is a former chef, and he's deeply concerned about the entire food services industry. And he is also very excited about the vaccine. He cannot wait for me to be vaccinated, as he has been a supportive um, spouse living with someone who is a frontline healthcare worker over the last nine months. And so um, finally, when I was exploring this decision as a physician, I trust the FDA in our process, but I also like to do my own research and evaluation before making a medical decision like this. And so I looked into how many people of color were enrolled in the vaccine trials. Were there any differences in the effectiveness and safety among different racial and ethnic groups? And I was happy to see that over 3,000 African Americans generously volunteered, over 10,000 members of the Latinx community participated, over 1,500 Asians stepped up, almost 500 multiracial people enrolled as well. And this reflects a broad commitment to create confidence in the scope and results of the study. And I'm grateful to all the volunteers and everyone's collective effort to bring this moment to fruition. I was happy to see that the study showed that, that the vaccine is effective, 95% effective, and it worked and it was safe across all racial ethnic groups and all age groups. And so after evaluating all of these factors, I weighed the potential risk of the vaccine against the risk of getting COVID. And my risks for COVID come from working in a healthcare setting and also living in a neighborhood that is experiencing a very high rate of new cases. I weighed the pros and cons and I decided to step up to be part of the collective, to be vaccinated, to be a role model and to be part of the solution. So that in the foreseeable future, we can celebrate overcoming this virus together. This last year, as I think about it, it's just been a brilliant response uh, to COVID here at Stanford Medicine. The pandemic um, has really shown our collective fortitude and strength. And I know we're still in the dark days and we must remain vigilant to stay safe and care for our patients. But the most stirring moment of this momentous year is happening this week. The vaccines are coming, delivering hope when we need it the most. 
And so I recognize that we all have a significant decision in front of us. And like me, you have a decision to make about taking this vaccine. But I know that the Stanford community is here to support you. And we will continue to support each other throughout as always.